Well, Ed, some exciting news and you two year deal, you must be wrapped. Yeah, really excited. I think it was never in doubt. Always looking to, to re sign with the club, but it's great that to know that they um they want me here as a player and they know that I can contribute to the football club in the future. So yeah, really excited to sign on for another two years with North Melbourne. Bit of a I guess an injury prone first year, but you know you're starting to hit your straps now and getting some really good games in. How have you seen your last couple of months, I guess? Yeah, exactly. It's just been great to play footy this year. It's been a tough first two years at the club, but starting to learn that continuity is key when you're trying to improve and develop as a player and push to senior selection. So I've been really enjoying playing at Werribee, but in the last few weeks looking to push through to the seniors and contribute in the finals. Got named as an emergency the other week and there was a bit of uh, dra late drama with Daniel Wells almost a laid out and you had to get ready. Can you talk us through what that sort of was all like? We have been in the mix for a while and um, to be named as emergency was exciting to, to be part of the preparations for the game and, and get ready for the game with the boys as, as much as you can obviously. But yeah, when I uh, got tapped on the shoulder by list manager Cam Joyce um, to say warm up, I think the nerves started um, going and Joel Tippett, who was another emergency at the time, was actually laughing at me how nervous I was. So didn't quite get there, but I had my shoulder strapped, ankle strapped, I was ready to go. Um, but yeah, it didn't quite eventuate, but I guess I'll just have to wait for my turn in the future. I guess what are your goals for the next two years aside from AFL debut? That's obviously one of the key ones. Well, I think having a full pre-season, um, you can't undersell how much getting that those miles into the legs and just the con continuity of training out here with all the boys. I think that's the main thing. So that'll set me up for a massive 2017 and um, to consolidate my spot as a, as a best 22 player, I think that has to be um, a focus for everyone. But certainly that's a focus for me just to get through that pre-season and really excel. What about the defenders as a group? They're going pretty well. Look at Robbie Tarrant's probably in All-Australian form. Michael Fredo's looking really good as well. You must be learning a lot off those guys. Exactly right. I think Spud keeps going on and he's, he's been fantastic this year and Taz, his form speaks for himself. Um, it's just been absolutely awesome. His inset marking is elite. And I think Jamie McMillan also, he's in great form and he's similar to play to me, so i really able to learn from him and I love the way he goes about it. His effort and intensity and leadership is just always there and yeah, it's really great. As well off field, we've seen a bit of the stuff you do off there. It must be an exciting place to be, giving those opportunities as well. Yeah, exactly right. It's um, great to be involved in the huddle and, and have my uni stuff off field. I think it, it's a great release from footy. Um, it can be all consuming here at the club. So for me, I think it's great just to give me another focus. And when I get to game day on a Saturday or Sunday, I'm not, I'm not tired of footy. I've had that release and ready to go each week. Well, well done. We're excited to have you here for another two years and keep up good work. Thank you. So am I.